today uh, I'm in a different side of town. Uh, I would say economic wise, this side of town is very like middle class, maybe high middle class. Um, so you don't get to see a lot of like crazy expensive things or cars. This is what I wanted to talk about today, exotic cars, like sports cars. Who doesn't want one? I know I, I, I want one. And the thing is, if you, if you live in a small town and you say bought a Lamborghini or a Ferrari, you're going to stand out for sure. Like, you, you're going to stand out if you're driving an expensive car like that in a small town. But in most big cities, I, you know, you're not going to stand out that much. Uh, for example, say New York, if you drive a Ferrari or Lamborghini, you probably still will stand out because you don't see those cars too often out there. But here in LA, my God, your, <laughs> let me put it this way. If you ever fantasize or dreamt about a super, super nice car that you want to own or drive one day, do not come to LA. Because out here, just about every car that you want is already been driven like a million times. And I'll, I'll give you an example. And this is this is for me personally, you know. When I lived in New York, one of my, my pet peeves is to, like, I would watch YouTube videos of, like, really cool cars. I'm a car fanatic. And I go to, you know, auto shows wherever I can find them. But since I've been out here, I noticed that I've lost a lot of that. And the reason is because all the cars that I could possibly read about or watch videos about, they're already out here on the streets. So, for example, uh, a year ago before I moved to California, I used to... I was crazy about the C7, the Corvette, the Chevy Corvette C7. And I remember I, I, you know, I followed this car all the way before it was even launched. I followed it, I went to uh, the auto show in New York and I saw the car for the first time and man, I was just in love with this car. And I said to myself, you know, work hard enough and this car will be your reward. And I had the color scheme that I wanted, you know, all that good stuff. And get this, I did work really hard in 2015, and I had the money. I had the money to buy me a C7. And I said to myself, you know what, okay, so we're planning, we're already planning to move to LA at the time. So I figured, you know, it makes no sense to buy it here while we're still in the East Coast. I'm like, let's get to, let's get to LA and I'll get myself one. So anyway, we get to LA uh, like summer last year, and tell me why everywhere I look, whenever I'm out on the street, the cars are just C7. Like I, I saw, honestly, this is no lie. I saw at least three to four Corvettes, C7 driving on every single day I stepped out. I don't know about you guys, but for me, whenever I, you know, whenever I'm crazy about a car, I don't like to see them too often. Like, what makes me appreciate that car more is because I don't get to see them that often. So, when I, with the C7, I saw this car li literally every single day, at least three to four times a day. You know, it just felt like everybody and their mama was driving a C7. And it basically killed the beauty of the car to me. And that's been the case. You know, any exotic cars, like out here, I see a Lamborghini, Ferraris every day. Every day. It would be parked right at, you can go to the, to the lowest income neighborhoods, there's a Lamborghini there, just parked on the street. And that to me kills the beauty of the car. And to me, that's the difference between, you know, driving, an expensive car somewhere else and being here in LA. LA, all the exotic cars are they like Lamborghinis are like Hondas out, out here. 
true story. Like you see them everywhere. And the crazy thing also is when you see the people driving them. So again, me personally, you know, what 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 stands out to me when I, you know, when I when I'm crazy about a car and I see that car on the road, you know, I'm always stopping to look. And depending when I see who's driving it also, I feel like it adds to the beauty of the car. But out here, just when you see the people driving the car that you want, it, it really, it really tones it down in your eyes. Like for example, the other day I, I think it was a Gallardo, some Lamborghini, a really nice car. You know, I was checking this car out, and a lady who was dressed like a stripper came out of it, and I was like, oh, you know. I know if it's your thing, you know, if stripping, and I mean, if strippers are your thing, if that looks good, if that say hotness to you, that's fine. But for me, you know, that just didn't match the car. You know, when I see somebody dressed like that come out of a really nice car, it just, it really just tones down the beauty and the standard of the car. For me. And that's been the case where, you know, I would see a really nice car. And when the person, when the driver steps out, or when I see the driver, I'm just like, ah. Uh -huh. So, just, just, uh, just something to point out. You know, if you if you're planning to to move to California, especially Los Angeles, and you want to drive an expensive car, I would say beware. Now, again, it's it's different for everyone, but for me, it's just the way my brain works. You know, if uh, and you can think of this. I mean, you can apply the same theory to anything else. If, say, for example, you wanted, uh, I don't know, a wristwatch or some some unique wristwatch, and when you go to work, everybody has one. You know, to me, that kills the beauty and it kills any any affection I, I you know that I have for that item. When I, I don't like driving a car that everybody else drives. That's just me personally. And that's why it's hard, you know, for me to see a car every day and still want to buy one or be in love with that car. And, you know, back to my example, you know, with the C7, I ended up not buying one. And I settled for a Fiat of Barth instead. I know you guys, you know, you may have seen my review of that car, which I ended up selling because that car, it didn't really make me happy. I loved it, but it wasn't the car that I originally wanted. And it was much, much more lower standards than the C7, obviously. But that was the, that was the case for me where I settled for a much uh, lower entry car. Because everyone just everyone drove a C7, and I didn't want to drive one because I just saw too many of them on the road. So right now, I'm making the same pledge to myself. You know, work hard, and my reward is gonna be a car that I really want. Um, and cars, you know, that are in my head, the C7 definitely is, it's dead to me already. It's a beautiful car. Don't get me wrong, but. Just everyone drives one out here, and I don't want to drive the same thing that everybody drives. Uh, Aston Martins, you know, I've always wanted a V Advantage, and that car to me is just, it never gets old. And, you know, here in LA, I've seen a few of them, but not as much as I see other exotic cars. So the V Advantage is still on my list, and, uh, I can't think of any other car right now that I would just be crazy about except, except for the except for the Aston Martin. So but we'll see what happens. But yeah, I just uh, I thought I should mention that because I see a lot of YouTubers, you know, who drive their exotic cars, and, you know, make videos about them, and they talk about how they stand out. You know, everybody wants to stare at it or whatnot, but that's not the case. I think you know that that applies if you live in a different city here in LA people don't really stop to look at Lamborghinis because they see it every day you know it's nothing to, it's nothing to them really like I said they're like Hondas out here uh, and same thing with Ferraris you know I see a Ferrari every day literally every day um, so it's different 
Okay, so if you're if you're looking to, to shine and stand out in an exotic car, it really doesn't matter where you're driving one. Uh, don't come out here to LA and try to shine with an exotic car. <laughs> because just about everybody has one. But yeah. So that is my uh, two cents for today. Uh, again, I'm heading to class right now, actually. And uh, I should be there in another five, ten minutes. But I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Uh, it's really cloudy out here, and hopefully the, the skies are clearing up. But uh, I hope uh, you guys have a nice, bright Monday on your end. But yeah, please leave your comments. Uh, let me know what you think, especially if you live in California or if you live in L.A. Let me know what you think, or maybe I'm just... I'm just crazy with my opinion, but I'm interested in what you think about what I said. Uh, but yeah, please leave your comments and uh, subscribe if you haven't yet. And do give a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.